God bless you, woman of God. Welcome to our channel. Today we will be talking about how to pack for a trip to Jordan, Egypt, and Jerusalem. If this is your first time here, my name is Rosa. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a friend or family member that doesn't speak English and you want to share this content with them in Spanish, send them to our channel, La Mujer de Dios. The link would be in the description below. Today we have a video that is a little bit unusual for a channel. We are planning a trip to Jordan, Egypt, and Jerusalem during the month of May with Marnelli and Hector Official. I'm going to try to leave a link in the description of the promotional video for that trip. And they have asked me to prepare um, this video showing how you can pack in a contained form for 17 days in a carry-on luggage. I'm going to start by talking about what I'm wearing for the plane. This is an example. I would wear a my thickest clothing on the airplane. So the uh, long jean skirt, my sneakers, because they take a lot of space on your suitcase. So I would put them on from here. That way it takes less room in my suitcase. With my long jean skirt, I, I would also bring a jacket that I can wear um, for the airplane. It's a long trip, at least uh, eight hours straight in one airplane. So having a comfy sweater um, to use in the airplane is good. Also bringing an oversized shawl like this one would be perfect for a trip like that. You can even use this as uh, a covering, right? To uh, lay down as a little blanket on the airplane. And because we are going to Jordan, Egypt and Jerusalem, there are a lot of religious sites there. And um, you can use this as a head covering in a place that they may require you to wear a head covering. You can use this to cover yourself. And you bring this on you, that way it takes less space on your suitcase. It is very important to remember that in these trips that we are doing, there are a lot of cultural factors that we have to take into consideration. For example, um, some of these countries are inside of what we call the 1040 window, where there's a lot of Muslim community and very religious or uh, orthodox community. And you are not allowed to go into certain religious areas or places with a shirt that is short sleeves or with a tank top. You can't go with shorts or a short skirt, which is why I have decided to bring my long jean skirt on me and I also brought one more inside my bag and most of the clothing that I have here that I'm going to share with you are long in order to comply with those uh, requirements for those certain areas that we will be visiting. It is important to remember that in some of these countries Christians and Americans are not very well received and therefore we must uh, be very careful with the choosing of clothing that we uh, use for these trips. For example, we should not bring any clothing that says New York Yankees or American Eagle or to make some sort of reference that we are coming from America or that we are Christians like I love Jesus and things like that. We need to be very low-key in our dressing in our in our clothing we need to make sure that our clothing remains as neutral as possible it is not recommended that you take a physical bible with you in some countries where christianity is prohibited it could be very dangerous for you to take your physical bible with you and in those cases i suggest that you make sure you download your bible in your electronic devices that you are bringing with you like in my case i'm bringing my ipad i have it already but i suggest that you make sure that you have an electronic bible that way you can stay connected and in the world even though you don't have a physical bible with you so i'm gonna flip my camera now so that you can see all the things that we are bringing for this trip I am bringing um, this pack and in this pack I contain everything that I may need to use in case 
of a health or um, emergency. I have um, everything and anything that you can think of um, for medicine. It bursts out of its seams, but I always make it work. I don't know how, my friends. I don't know how, but I make it work. I have uh, Pepto-Bismol, Vicks, Vaseline. I have antibiotics for urine infection, amoxicillin in 500 milligrams and 1,000 milligrams. Because in these places where you go, you, you want to make sure you bring everything that you need and that you even bring things that you may not need because you don't know what the healthcare system is over there. So you want to ensure that you have everything that you may um, need. I have my asthma, a butyrol pump, butterfly enclosures, Excedrin for the migraines. I have Tylenol, cold and flu, regular Tylenol. We have iodine in individual packs, alcohol in individual packs, cream in case uh, your skin in your thighs rubs by walking too much. This helps for that. And um, again, it's just a whole lot of stuff. Cold ice packs that you can wear in case of a torn muscle. We also have cream for the back um, in individual packs in case of um, emergency. So anything and everything that you can think of, Tiger Balm for the headaches, triple antibiotic ointment in case you get a burned or a scratch or something, anointing oil, pills for stomach aches, allergy pills. I even have safety pins in here. I have everything that I can possibly need. Anything that you think that you may be needing and that it might be hard to find in these countries, you want to bring it with you. So mine is bursting out of the seams. Like I said before, I always make it work somehow. Um, it's a little difficult, but somehow I always make it work. As long as it's with me on the trip, I don't care how it got in this bag. And the cool thing about this this little pouch, and it's unfortunate that I can't no longer um, get it. I got it one time through a mailing system that sent me three of them. And when I've ordered again, they don't they no longer come in this pouch. Now they come in a in a hard case, which I don't like because this one stretches and it allows me to put as much stuff as I can in there. And the other one is a little more constraining. But this one is very small, it fits anywhere. And um, for the most part, I would like to try to keep it in my handbag instead of in my inside my suitcase. But as long as it's with me, I'm okay whether I put it in either of them. I also bring this pill case. I bring four of them uh, with my daily vitamins. And I what I do is I separate it into four sections. And then I put the gummies because I do... Uh, take some gummies on the top and uh, I use this for four days. I bring a few of them like I said because this is a long trip so I will be bringing uh, four of them. This takes less space than bringing the actual bottles of the pills of the vitamins and um, it's easy to carry and like I said I can put it in my handbag and leave the rest inside the suitcase and um, it's more comfortable. So I'm bringing some of these. Moving right along, I'm taking this shield with this COVID situation. You can wrap it. This one you can remove from the glass. You can tie it on the sides here. I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can tie it and it's a shield. With this COVID, you, you do not know. And um, it's best to be over prepared than under prepared. At least that's, that's how I feel about this situation. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not gonna stop my life for it, but I'm gonna be prepared and take care of myself on the trips that I do. I keep it like this and that way it's together and it doesn't get ruined. One of the things you need to remember when going into these trips is that the electrical connectors are not the same in the countries that you go to and you're gonna need a converter. Uh, this one has for Europe, which is this one right there. It also has for Ukraine, which is this connector. And it also has the US, which we all know is that connector. To hide them, you have to push and that way you push things in. It has all the different connectors and it has four USB ports. This is very convenient for our trips. 
for all the trips that I do, um, that I have been doing, doesn't matter where I go, whether I go um, here in the US or wherever I go to the Caribbean or any other country, I've been bringing this extension. It's a 10 foot long extension cord. Um, if you have noticed in most of the places that we go, um, it could be a cruise ship, it could be a hotel room. It doesn't matter where you go. There's a lot of places where there's only one plug in the room. And some of the time, most of the times, it's on the other side of the room and you wanna plug in your phone and you're gonna plug in your stuff and you don't have enough um, plugs around the room. Therefore, what I do is I connect my international uh, plug to the wall and then I connect my extension cord to it. This extension cord also ser serves as a power surge in case uh, there's a power outage, your electronics are saved. Um, the reason why I really like this is because even though my international connector has four USB ports as this one does, um, there are many times that I carry my drone, my camera, my laptop, my gimbal, and those are things that sometimes need to be charged directly into plugs and not in USB ports. And like I said before, is there, if there's only one plug inside the room, that makes it very difficult to charge all of our electronics. And um, this has become one of my best friends and travel buddies. It takes, it takes some space in the suitcase, but I managed to work with it. Another thing you could bring is a headlamp. This headlamp has uh, five different settings and uh, it's a battery operated uh, headlamp. It was only $3. You can use it in your head and it uh, takes very little space on your bag. There are many places where there's a lot of uh, power outages where there's uh, sometimes uh, the electricity fails quite a bit and it's very important that you have a light aside from your cell phone. Another thing I want to share with you is um, this little piece of fleece uh, or covering. A lot of people are using them now with the COVID to cover themselves up to here and their chest or their uh, neck. This one is uh, very thick because it's fleece uh, material. It's like for the cold weather. I wouldn't use this on, on its own for the COVID situation, but if I use it in conjunction with my plastic shield, I would be okay wearing it. Um, but I most bring it because in case uh, the weather gets chilly, it would be a nice thing to have to keep my um, chest and my neck covered. And it doesn't take any space. It's very versatile um, piece to bring and it's very, very tiny. Another thing that I purchased um, is this two uh, rain ponchos. They come in one pack of two. I probably won't be needing them as much in this trip because we're going to Jordan, Egypt, and Jerusalem, which are pretty dried places. But my husband and I are making one extra stop in Paris, France. And I'm not quite sure what the weather may be. And I'd rather have them and not need them. And if it is a rainy day, we can still enjoy our walk around the city and not waste the day because it was raining or walk around the city miserable all wet and cold. So I'm bringing them, they are very small, they don't take a lot of space, which brings me to another item, which is this feather jacket. This is a very thick, warm jacket, but it, it takes practically no space inside the suitcase. This was $10 in Amazon. And um, if you are going in the month of May, like we're going, you probably don't need a jacket. But if you go in another month, it is very cold. And at night, the desert can become very, very cold. Uh, again, maybe not for the trip that I'm going now because I'm going in the month of May, but I'm still bringing it um, just in case. Because although I'm bringing a sweater uh, for the airplane, this one is a lot warmer. And in case if it's needed, it's better to have it and not need it than not to have it and need it. As the rules have changed with the COVID situation in the past eight months, TSA now approves that you bring less than 12 ounces of uh, hand sanitizer. So I found this bottle that is 11.8 ounces of hand sanitizer. That way we can refill our little uh, bottles that we carry on our bags. I found that it is very important 
that people know that this is now allowed in your carry-on bags. You can bring 11.8 ounces of hand sanitizer. Uh, for the rest of the items, it is still less than four ounces, but for hand sanitizer, you are allowed to bring an item of 11.8 ounces. Something else that you need to bring is a small bag. This particularly, um, you can hide it away in this pouch, but it's a backpack. You can pull it out and it converts into a backpack. That way, if you go out to the city and you want to purchase some things, you can put them in here and you don't have to carry your whole suitcase or even your travel size item, but you can carry things in this backpack and you can carry what you purchased on the city or the things that you want to carry around in something smaller and lightweight. And it, when it's put away in the pouch, it takes no space at all. Another thing that we need to consider is bringing snacks. In my case, some of my friends and my people laugh because I eat a lot of sunflower seeds. So I bring a ton when I go on these trips because you can find them. When you go to international countries, um, it's a lot harder when they see me eating these, they say that I'm eating bird food. So I bring my sunflower seeds and um, I bring some dried fruit, trail mix, and some cameo cookies for my Puerto Rican friends. They know what I'm talking about. You can only find this in Hispanic stores. I'm not much of a sweet eating person, but um, it is always good to bring some snacks. You also should bring, you should also bring a big um, container of gum. Um, that way you have enough for your entire trip. And what I do is I bring a big Ziploc bag and I put them all in as best as I can so that it's all nicely and contained. I may bring one or two inside my travel uh, personal item, um, but the rest I put inside the Ziploc bag. And I try to line them as best as I can so it's a space saver. If you are a picky eater, I suggest you make sure you bring a lot of snacks. Because if you find yourself in a country with a culture that you do not enjoy the food that is served, it is going to be a very difficult trip for you. And this is how your snacks are going to look like when you're done putting them together. If you have more variety and more different things, um, it will look different or you may have more than one bag. In my case, like I said, I'm not much of a sweet uh, eating person. I don't eat a lot of sweets. I don't eat a lot of candy. Um, but this is just enough to get me through um, a few, you know, the, the few couple of days that I'm going to be out there. And then um, I, for, for the most part, at least for the trips that you are in the car and on the plane and the long hours, those type of things, um, you kind of want to have something to eat and delight yourself in for the time. For our personal items, um, personal hygiene, we have CeraVe cream, uh, moisturizing cream for the dry skin. We have uh, coconut oil, because it's good for a lot of things. Uh, scrub, facial scrub. My body lotion. Toothpaste. Shampoo, conditioner. Uh, gel, extreme for the hair, for my husband and for myself. Mental, and the uh, cream for the inner ties. A manicure set. In case it's needed, everything is here nicely and compact. My toothbrush, I use an electronic toothbrush, so I just pack it up and bring it. A shower cap, facial cleaning supplies, penny liners. 
to do the doobie. Toilet spray. You don't want to go to the bathroom and leave it stinky. Sanitizer spray is 2.5 ounces. This is great. Mosquito repellent. Cotton swabs. Shaving cream. Fragrance mist. Lysol. With the COVID, you want to make sure you have a little bit to just as this to clean surfaces where you go. Deodorant, mousse, hairspray, mouthwash, toothpicks. Everything travel size, everything is less than four ounces. So I have never had problems traveling with all of this. Never. And I've traveled quite a bit in the last few years. For most of my trips that I do, missions trips and other regular trips, for the most parts I try to bring dresses because dresses are very versatile. They are long, they are accepted everywhere no matter the culture that you go to. As long as they are long and um, covering uh, your body, they don't use any space in your suitcase. Like I can pack them real good, very small and um, they don't occupy space in my suitcase. So I'm bringing five dresses. Uh, in this trip. I have two black long skirts um, that I can interchange with different shirts. I'm bringing a total of two skirts and then I'm bringing four, one, two, three, four shirts with no emblems, with no letters, with nothing. Just simple. I'm also bringing my pajamas. Four additional shirts here, so it's a total of ten, uh, eight shirts. A uh, half calf uh, skirt so this one is not all the way long, but it's a half, it's three quarters, a half calf a jean skirt and a pair of leggings to wear under uh, the skirts in case I want to ride a camel or something like that. I have something to go under my skirts. And this is pretty much what I'm thinking to bring in addition to the skirt that I'm wearing and the shirt that I'm wearing. That would be something that I would do for a trip like this. And now I'm going to show you how to put it away real quick. I use packing cubes to keep everything organized. Here's my five dresses. I'm also gonna put my five underwears here uh, for this five days. This packing cubes, they are also compression. So once I have everything in there, we're gonna compress them. For purposes of packing, I'm gonna add two more shirts. I can't find any more that are plain with no um, labels, but I just wanna show you that you can have five days in each packing queue.
The camera stopped recording, so I'm not sure where it stopped recording, but I'm going to show you that in this uh, second pack that we were doing, um, we did the one, two, three, four, five shirt with the skirt, so it's five days. We did the underwear with the socks and the uh, jean skirt with the pair of leggings for underneath the skirt. And now we pack it sealed. Another thing that I have are my shoes. I always bring a pair of flip flops to shower because I don't like to shower directly on floors that I don't know. And some flats. And I put them in this bag because that way they don't dirty my clothes and my backpack. fan We finally closed the suitcase. Um, it's over and done. Now I'm gonna show you real quick what I have on this uh, bag. And I still have uh, some spare space for my laptop, etc. When I go to trips like this, I bring a purse, but I put it inside my personal item, because if not, this will count as your personal item. You can also have a waste um, bag for your passport and your money. And this one you can actually hide inside um, your skirt. Um, you need some compression socks if you're gonna go for a long, long trip. I keep them on my bag. Um, and then I put them in the airplane. That way I don't have to wear the long, long socks from going out of the house but I put them on on the airplane these are called compression socks I can put a link on the description I'm gonna try to put a link in the description below for all the items that I've been showing um, my hair straightener I keep it in my bag sunglasses in this case um, I bought the ones that have the rubber uh, rim inside 
for the dust that way the dust doesn't go inside my eyes and I put a strap on it because I've lost some pretty expensive ones in previous uh, mission strips so now I've learned to put a strap on it and if I take them off they hang off of my they hang off of my neck and that way they don't get lost pens pencils to draw in the airplane or write or do whatever I always bring my tablet and it goes here and also my computer I actually bring both so I can do some work on the way my computer goes on the side pouch here I bring charging cables this one is a multiple charger it charges USB-C USB and um, the one for iPhones the lightning so I have a multi charger I also have this uh, little pouch and I keep a uh, an auxiliary adapter I keep the adapter for uh, iPhone to auxiliary cable also some uh, original regular headphones uh, so I could listen to something on the airplane because I cannot use my iPhone headphones on the airplane aside from bringing my airpods but in case the battery runs out, I have different sources so that I can use um, to hear something while I'm on the plane. A pen, you always need a pen inside your bag because you have to fill out uh, paperwork, immigration paperwork when you arrive to the different countries. So you need to have a pen on your bag. And if you have long hair, you probably wanna have a head tie to pick up your hair and be more comfortable on the plane. It has a side pocket where you can keep your personal documents or money or information. And this bag, you can hook it up off the top of your suitcase. This bag fits on the handle of the suitcase and um, that way you don't have to physically carry it in your hand. It is very comfy. You can fit a lot of stuff in this bag. As you know, I have a video uh, giving a review on this suitcase and you just seen me pushing and huffing um, to get all my stuff in it and you saw all the things that we got to put into this tiny little suitcase which is a carry-on size I'm gonna also show you the backpack that I use for my husband I'm not gonna give you a full walkthrough but that you know that you have that option available and it fits a lot a lot of stuff uh, in this particular trip that we're going he will be the one that needs to carry the camera gear and all of that good jazz and we can also put a lot of stuff in his backpack so let me let me go get it. This backpack right here has four different compartments. It has the back compartment for the laptop, for the tablet, etc. It has a side compartment where we hang off our tripod uh, for our camera. The middle compartment, which is huge, you can fit a lot, a lot of stuff in this middle compartment right here. Um, The front compartment which is pretty big as well you can put a lot of stuff in it and it has a little compartment on the front that you can put uh, in my case we have all the cables for when we do our conferences and things like that it is it has a band that you can hook it up to the handle of your suitcase so you can carry it just like this. You don't have to carry the whole weight of the backpack. You can put it on the suitcase. Um, it, it goes for about uh, $30 to $40 in Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. And we also hang off of it a solar charger. That way we have an extra source of power for our cell phone. I'm gonna leave a link for all of these things that I can think of in the description below. One more thing that I quickly remember as I'm wrapping up this video is a lot of countries 
don't allow for you to wear army gear as a civilian so it's something to take into consideration avoid bringing army patterned gear um, if at all possible I hope this video has been a blessing to your life and that you have gained some tips and some knowledge for any type of trip you're planning either to one of these countries or to uh, mission trips or some other type of uh, trip that you may be doing that you might have gained something out of this video I know it's been a little bit longer than usual, but I hope it's a blessing to your life So if this video has been a blessing to your life Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Ciao